कि जनरेट कोड एंड यस सो इट माइट टेक अ सेकेंड टू लोड ओके सो लाइक नाउ आर प्रोजेक्ट इज बींग क्रिएटेड एंड आर कोड इज ऑटोमेटिकली और सो बींग फिगर्ड सो डेट्स वाई आई स्टार्टेड विद एस टी एम थर्टी टू एंड फ्री ऑटोज बिकॉज नाउ इट इज रिलेटिवली ईजी फॉर बिगनर्स बिकॉज नाउ कोड इज ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेटेड सो नाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दीज थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग एंड वॉट ऑल दोज थिंग्स आर सो नाउ लाइक एज वी आर यूजिंग सी एम एस आई आटोज सो एडिशनल फाइल सी एम एस आई एस ओ एस डॉट एच इंक्लूडेड इन आर फाइल सी एम एस आई एस ओ एस डॉट एच इज इंक्लूड द रैपर फॉर द सी एम इज लाइक अ रैपर एडर फाइल रैपर फॉर सी एम एस आई एस एंड इट वुड बी यूजिंग द इंटरनली फ्री आटोज ई पी आईज सो लाइक इन द प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन सी को ड्राइवर्स मिडल वेयर्स थर्ड पार्टी एंड देर आर फ्री आटोज विच यू कैन सी इन द होल सी एम एस फ्री आटोज फोल्डर प्रोजेक्ट फोल्डर इज बींग डाउनलोडेड एंड बींग ओवर शोन यूर all of its main header files source files so now coming to it now we have created a two task uh, you know so each task would be having a handle okay by which it would be reference so default task handle and uh, my task 0 to handle and they are being referred as task id okay thread id task process or thread are being used interchangeably okay so two handles are being at first at first and then these are the functions these two are the entry functions for our respective tasks so like for start default task which is our task 1 it would would be having entry function for start default task my task 0 to handle would be having entry function of start task 0 to okay now let's come inside the main so normally first chain is initialized system clock is initialized gpio and user is initialized because i have using these peripherals and then these are the two the areas at which are task being created okay thread task is similar interchangeable use with thread word so thread is created now here so now this is os thread dev uh, is a macro function so in it the first parameter that we need to send is the task name so task name is default task then what is the entry function entry point for that so the function name is start default task what is the priority of this task os priority is normal okay then zero is the instances then like how many times this task uh, the the instance like we can use the same function in multiple tasks okay so there is only one instance of start default task and that would be used in default task same way out here there here a uh, second task is being created which name is my task 02 start task 02 is the entry function priority instance is size stack size and then we will set create like handle which we have created above would be having like once task is created so the task created and then its handle reference would be assigned to this os task handle okay okay so now once are this task is being created not these tasks created would be effective only when we start a scheduler if we don't start a scheduler then these would be just created they would be started executing so it's very important uh, before starting the scheduler we need to create the task so the order should be like this only scheduler should be started after the task are be created okay and then the loop will be are empty and then these are these are system call use are initialized gpi initialized functions and then this is the function entry function for our task 1 start default task now in this function we are going to write the we are going to blink our gpi pin pc 13 okay so the api for that is hal gpi toggle uh, toggle pin okay and then just a second yeah toggle pin and that is a uh, gpio pc 13 so this gpio c okay and pin number is gpio pin 13 gpio pin 13 okay So we are just going to toggle this pin. The delay of 
thousand in one second. Okay, so that is what we are going to do in our first task. The another task what we are going to do, we are going to print uh, the data and take an input from the serial terminal. So we are going to write HAL underscore UART underscore transmit. Yeah, okay, transmit and then M present H S U A H U A R T one comma okay and the data uh, the data which we will be going to transmit is a string in which I am saying Kunal get to byte okay and this is noted commas what is its size it is about like I think K 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and then 10, 16. So 16 is the size and timeout. And we are going to be taking a 100. Okay, this and then OS delay of 1 second, like say 100. And then we are going to ask for a input from a serial monitor. Okay, you are. receive okay normal receive present gurt1 uh, yeah gurt1 and then the, the variable at which we are going to store the data that will be inputted i am naming it as rx buff size would be 5 like 5 words would be taken as input and timeout like I am taking in timeout at maximum for 10 seconds it would be waiting for having an input so now rx buff is in in for the variable that we would be uh, using okay so now the rx buff uh, let me just declare it inside for the main over here okay uint rx buff 10 okay so now like these are the two functions task i have defined in the first task ping will be toggled and in the other task our terminal is ping uh, will be printing so now ideally if you see if we, i write this code in the main only in the while loop so pin would be toggling first toggled then transmitted and then it would be stuck until it receives a task receive from my ter terminal screen but now you will see something behavior which would be something different once I comment this line or once I not comment this line. Okay. So just wait. Now that's all. The project is being created, configured and done. Okay. So there are just couple of things that I need to tell you uh, once more. That freeartos configuration.h. This is very important header file which would be used for configuration all the parameters all the features all the functionalities that we are using in free autos so it is very important we need we hashtag define it or we call the many many macros over there for using the free autos different features and functionalities another thing is like in the main.c you can see uh, we have created a thread id and okay like i will tell in the next video that how these functions are working but now that's it for this video so okay now let's just debug this code okay first it would be build it but artos video is going to be quite lengthy because there are many things in it that needs to be told and i like okay let me just do the first debugger configuration open ocd okay and then show generator options software system preset neighbor autos proxy driver free autos port cortex m3 port number okay and then yeah apply and then okay by that time let me also connect my phone so that i can make you see the hardware okay so guys hardware i have connected like this is st stm32 and this is the just usb2 dtl uart terminal which is connected to my uart1 of this microcontroller and this is the onboard led okay so now if i am start debugging it okay and let me just open the Hercules serial monitor confirm and open okay as if now nothing is being printed so okay 
select slowers okay so console is pre uh, building my code and okay there are some errors in it what are the errors let me see oh i am not and okay now let's again just debug it <coughs> my project is being built in now successfully okay zero errors and let's just ignore the warning yeah now launch debugger is being launched so like my laptop is a bit slow so that's why it is taking so much of time for all those things so now uh, i now like what have what will be the program flow is first it will enter the main initialize this initialize gpio uart it will be creating my two tasks default task and my default task 02 in each of the task i have defined what i need to do in the first task it will be just toggling this gpio pin 13 okay and another task it would be printing kunal get to write on the terminal screen and then would be waiting for uh, getting a input from my terminal screen okay so now i will show you what will happen so now let's start it okay here is the terminal screen so it start printing kunal get to byte but now you can see in the screen my led is blinking still okay even though it is another like now, now like you got the point it is another task it is independent of task 02 so even though in my task 02 i am printing kunal get to byte and then i am not receiving any data so it is waiting 10 seconds because i have you can held for 10 seconds but my led keeps on printing at a time of one second so that's what the main use of r dos okay now if i send the gupta it will print gupta and then next straight away next print the kunal get to white but my another task task one is being uninterrupted so that is the use of r dos my two tasks are running parallelly now in one task it has to wait for 10 seconds but that doesn't mean my because of that my one other task be also waiting my another task just keep on executing okay and it will uh, come when it comes to task to wait for 10 seconds if it doesn't receive so this thing if i have made this code in a single while loop so my led would not be toggled until unless i send some data from the terminal screen okay so that is the main thing that I want to make you understand about it so but i would recommend to watch this video till the end it would make your points very much clear and uh, interesting so that's how you can create two tasks and make and like you can now write anything on these two tasks toggle the pin toggle the pin in different patterns okay you can print whatever you want you want receive anything you want to receive you can make this from time increase to 100 seconds okay so now it would be waiting for 100 seconds till it gets any input so you can do your experiment okay so i hope you have got the video got to understand something in this video now in the next video i am going to do with the task only i am going to create three tasks and do some experiment on more with the task header file there are many functions in task and we would be using directly those functions in our uh, main.c without the use of cms yes so that's it for this video i hope you get to know about something and you get some valuable information and learning from this video any suggestions any doubts any reviews mention them in the below comment section so that's it for this video so that's it for now like the video subscribe the channel and Press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends.